Next thing, this is uh, this is what I consider one of my go-to baits right here. And this is the Jackal Flick Shake. You know, this is something I've been throwing for about five years, won me a ton of money. Very, 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 very easy to fish. It's just kind of a do-nothing rig that's going to get a lot of results. Now, as far as uh, the setup on this bait, you're going to kind of use the same setup as you would on the drop shot. You know, a seven foot, two inch rod, medium light to a medium. You know, you want a pretty long rod. You don't want it to be super stiff. And you're going to let this bait do its own thing. Now, this rig consists of a couple things. The bait, this is a Jackal Flick Shake 4.8 or 5.8, and then this has this little tungsten head. Now, there's a million different heads out there, um, you know, made for this technique. But this is, this is the only one I throw, and it's, it's specifically designed for this flick shake. Now, you can also throw a Cinco on there or something, or your favorite plastic. You're just going to wacky rig it right in the middle. It's got a little wire guard on there, so it's going to be pretty weedless. And you're going to throw it out there and just kind of let it sink. As you can see, you know, it's going to be a wacky rig presentation. It's going to be flapping around. It's going to draw a lot of attention. You're going to get a lot of bites. A couple ways I'm going to throw this thing. One, you know, let's say I'm fishing some deep suspended fish, you know, clear water. I'm at Shasta Lake. I might throw it out there over 30 feet of water and just kind of shake it down all the way down to the bottom. You see how that thing really gets a lot of action. Shake it down, you're going to catch a lot of suspended fish uh, on the fall. And that's, that's one way. You know, the other way is I'm going to make a long cast. Maybe I'm fishing a point. You know, let it sink all the way down. And then maybe just kind of hop it along the bottom. You know, drag it. Fish it really, really, really slow. This is a great way, guys, if you're out there and you're fishing a tournament and uh, you need number five, you know, you got four fish in the well and you want to catch that fifth fish, this is a great way to do it. And I've always said the power of five fish in a tournament goes a long way. You know, if you have four, you're constantly racing through your mind, hey, what do I got to do to catch that fifth fish? And, and this, is, uh, this is one of the ways you can do it. So very easy to fish. Again, I'm going to throw it on a, on a braided line, uh, you know, a six to an eight-pound test, maybe 10-pound. I'm fish, fishing a little bit more cover and a lighter rod. You know, a hook set on this thing, very important. I've seen a lot of guys that get bit on this and just swing for the fence. Well, one, you have light line, so you can't. But this flick shake, all you need to do is, is set the hook, kind of how you would on a dart head or a drop shot. You know, once you feel them, most of the time you're not going to feel them hit it. They're just going to load up. You want to kind of just reel down and give it a sweep set. You know, reel set these fish and pin them. You know, the, the hook's the light wire hook. You're going to skin hook them in the roof of the mouth. And again, this thing will catch a lot of big fish. As far as the reel, you know, I am a firm believer you guys want to have a high gear ratio spinning reel. You know, not many people pay attention to that, but some of these new Shimano's are 6 out to 1. You know, once you catch these fish, they're going to swim right at you. You're going to be able to reel down. You're going to be able to pick up line. And uh, in result, you're going to catch a lot more fish. Also, you know, when you, if you guys happen to hook some of these, especially spotted bass or smallmouth, you throw it out there and you guys hook a big fish, you think, and... You know, maybe you get a couple cranks on it and you lose it. You know, open the bale up and just let it sink back down. You'd be blown away how many times a fish will come back and bite that thing again. And I'm not necessarily sure if it's the same fish or you throw it out there and there's a school of fish and you drop back down and another one eats it. But just, just always make sure you do that. So those are a couple of the things that, that are going to be on my boat, you, you know, year-round. Next week I'm fishing the Orville Tournament. It's a must-have, in my opinion.